What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another banger. A Basil banger. Woo! Woo! <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know. Guys, I think the older I get, I just get a little more emotional. Emotional. It's just, I'm just emotional. Not that I know what's going to happen. Wait, hold up. Hold up, sis. Before I get into this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, share the channel, okay? And hit your post notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. And wherever you 11,000 people are, you need to come back to your sister, okay? But the ones who are here, thank you for my new ones. Thank you for joining the family. You know, we become, we're family around here. Ooh, guys, look at this. Look, look, look. Y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it. It says, it says, Hold on. It says Basil Licious. Isn't that cute? Someone sent that to me. <laughs> I I love it. I love it. Bobby was jealous. And um I'm just leaving the post office and this is a big step for me. I took a half a day at work today. I don't even think my sub showed up. My co-teacher's there. She was like, I don't know where your sub is. I got your class, you know, until third period. But, but, but I don't know where the sub at, but I'm not there. So I go, um, I have to be there at like 11.45. So, and I'm going to get my nails done. So I'm, I'm rushing to get my nails done now. And then I have to go to work. Hopefully I'll have a minute to eat. I don't have a minute to make my coffee. God dang it, I'm gonna have to go home for at least to get my coffee mug because at this place that I go to, sis, you get free drinks. And I'm not trying to have an adult beverage right now. Mm -mm. But they have um they have a coffee. What kind of coffee? Vietnamese coffee. Hunty, it is good. But anyway, that's not why I can calm down, Joy. Calm down. I got a little emotional leaving the post office because Today was my passport appointment. Hunty, I didn't know what name to put on the application. I didn't know what to put for my ex-husband. I didn't know what to put for my mama. I, I, so my application was half filled out. And, you know, I, I, my name is, uh, my last name is hyphenated, but I don't use my maiden name at all. So eventually I'm going to go get it changed legally, but that costs coin. So... Let me let me start driving y'all because you know I, I'll talk to y'all forever. But it was just such it was it was let me take the key back out. Oh, I'll put the key in, take the key back out. It was emotional because I actually did it. And it was more money than I planned on, more money than I had. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna cut corners. I had to pay um a hundred and ten dollars for the book and the this and the picture. $15 for the picture. Look. I, look. Okay. I did what I had to do. I could probably get the picture somewhere else. It, it's done. So leave your comments alone. <laughs> I was like, miss, I don't have no picture. It, it's just been a morning. It has been a morning. But no matter what I was going to do, I was going to run this morning. And then I kind of stayed in bed a little longer. And I replied to a few comments. So, and I slept. I was tired. And I slept. And so I was gonna get my run in, and that kind of took my. Then I had to print, make copies of my uh, birth certificate, my marriage, social security card, my ID. So I had to make all those copies, and that my printer is slow, low, slow, low, low. But I'm like, come on, printer, come on, I gotta go. Even if I don't go anywhere, it was a big step towards my future. As you guys know what's happening in two years so i'm just like i did it i can't believe i did it because certain things for me is like climbing a mountain for me to to accomplish and so on and so forth and i just i felt really good so i paid a hundred and ten dollars a hundred and ten okay i'll make it to my appointment in time i i had to pay a hundred and ten dollars for the application fee, whatever. Then I had to pay $35 for their processing fee and fifty and fifteen dollars for the picture. So I don't know, you do the math. And then um I, I had to spend $160. $160 I did not have, but I was like, 
it is what it is i'll figure it out just like i figure everything else out <laughs> i will figure it out i will so i was like i'm just doing this i'm doing this i'm do come on so i feel good that i made that step to get the passport because i said i was i am super excited that I accomplished one of my goals that I had on my list for 2020. Another goal. So I'm, man, I know it's, it's really not a big deal, but for me, it is a big deal. Oh, I just proud of myself. Honey, I was a mess up in there. I was nervous. I don't know, cause this is like life, part of my life change and part of my goal that I have set for myself. So I was just nervous. I was, wasn't sure if she was gonna like, no miss, you gotta come back another day. I was like, I don't know what name to put down here. I don't know what name you want me to use, miss. My social security card has one name and my driver's license has another name. So I was like, what do you want me to use? For example, at my job at school, um, they said I had to use the name that was on my social security card, point blank, period. But you know, I'm a charmer, and it's hard not to love a sister. And if you don't love me, you got a problem with yourself. <laughs> but I was like, come on, miss, come on. I'm only using Basil, Basil. So throughout the new higher orientation, I look at her, I'm like, Basil. <laughs> It was, it was a fun orientation. <laughs> and to this day, she still remembers me. Her daughter actually works, the HR lady's daughter works with me at school. She's the dance teacher. And she says, my mom told, told me to tell you hi. <laughs> and that's just on one visit. Um, so I'm just super excited. I'm sure you can tell. I'm just ready, y'all. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. So I'm not sure if I'll make it to Canada. We'll see, we still gotta talk. We still gotta talk and plan things out. But I made the first step and I'm real excited. So, <laughs> I'm like, whatever. I'm just gonna do it. I can't be afraid to live life because we're not promised tomorrow. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. But keep in mind, sometimes making that first step towards your goal is one of the most important steps you can make. Because we can have all these dreams and ideas, but they will not come to fruition, fruition, until we take action. Because they'll always just be a dream. So we need to make it a reality. Oh, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I, I, I did it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm so excited. No, I don't need no coffee, but you know, sometimes it gives me a little extra pep in my step. And I'm telling you, and when I run, it is my it's literally my medicine. I don't know what I did with this hair today. I put a top on yesterday. I had two ponytails, my two space buns, and the kids just loved it. They they was like, Miss Basil, Miss Basil, I love your hair. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> quite sure somebody had tried to tell me not to wear my hair like that because it's not age appropriate. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. If I want to wear my hair, and I told the kids, I said tomorrow I might look like a unicorn and have my bun right in the middle of my forehead. There it is, right in the middle of this forehead. So is there something in the book that says once you reach 30, you're supposed to look like this. Once you reach 40, you're supposed to look like this. Once you reach 50, you're supposed to look like this. 60, 70, 80. Why? Who says that? Times have changed. People have changed. So just because your mama may look a certain way, that means I gotta look that way too? I don't want to. I'm not ready to look that way. So therefore, I'm going to do it with me. Y'all know I don't follow no rules anyway. Be quiet. You know I don't follow no rules anyway. That's why I always stay in trouble. My life is a hot diggity dog mess. All right, guys, let me pay attention to see where I get off because <laughs> I'm trying to get there by memory. And sometimes that's not a good idea for me because my sense of direction is jacked up. I think it was all the years growing up in Brooklyn where you just take the train to and from. And, you know, you don't really, I didn't drive. I didn't drive in New York. So, I'm so 
so excited. All right, guys, I will catch you later. Oh, shoot, guys, I forgot to tell you. So when I went to the post office, I forgot my key. Clint has my key to the post office. So I was like, miss. So the one who was doing my passport application, I was like, miss, do you think that you can check my P.O. box because my son has my key and I forgot my key. I don't know, you know, I usually have packages. So she was like, okay. So I remember somebody telling me um, about sending me some edge control. Child, these edges need Jesus. <laughs> There's a little girl, we have this relationship. We built this relationship. So there's this little, this girl in my class. She is really, I would say, out of all my 170 of my students, she really is joy. She is joy. She's always smiling. She's always laughing. She has such a beautiful spirit and happy spirit spirit and even her friends was like no she's always like that and so we have a relationship and I found out she's the one who was leaving me all the little post-it little notes you know we love Miss Basil I love you yo so she's the one she's like yeah I like the sneaky little notes so so sweet and um she's just sweet so she got her hair on braids right and it's been about a week or two weeks and then all I do is look at her edges. And she's like, I know, Miss Basil, I know. I was like, next time you go, you better go to the Africans so they can get that little bit of hair right in the front because that's not baby hair. That gel you put in there is not working out for you. That needs to be pushed back into your brain is where that needs to go. So you have the Africans snatch your memories and your thoughts and catch that little edge right there because that one inch of baby hair is not working out. Oh, it was so funny and she was just like we were just all like it was so funny but we have that relationship not every teacher can do that so but we have that that relationship but we were just all cracking up all i did was look at her edges <laughs> i tell you i'm not a typical teacher and um you know when she's leaving she just hugged me she'll hug me when she leaves or try to sing me a little no i moved to a seat <laughs> so Thinking, so somebody said they were gonna send me some edge control, but this says that it's, it's um it's from Hair World. I'm not sure if this is my subscriber that mentioned it or I don't know. But we're about to find out. We about to find out, sis. I need to look up this address. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be in another county trying to remember. This doesn't look familiar. Did I drive too far? Lord. Hold on, mister. You know this road work. Hold on, sucker. Now, sometimes I try to test out my memory skills, but I didn't see anything that looked familiar. Is it over here? No, that's UPS. Mm, I don't see it over there. Let me keep driving. Y'all gonna be in another state. <laughs> the rate I'm going. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, this little community is cute. Maybe I should move down here. Maybe the rent's gonna be cheaper. Oh, Jesus. Is she in here? That's a salvation. I think it's over here. I am not that old, boo. Okay? Some things are still working. Okay? Is she over here? Hold up. Well, they got a McDonald's. I ain't doing McDonald's, though. Uh -huh. Executive nail suites. There you are. And you know what? I'm early. Uh -huh. With the painless braids. I need to go there and get the front of my edges done. I'm talking about her. My edges are busted. That's what it is. Yes. So, like I was saying, I am not that old, boo. Because my memory is still working. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's up in this um, hair world. It says joy. It says joy. Oh, um, there's no note. I'm assuming my, that my subscriber sent this. No note. And I was talking to my friend in New York, right? So when I go home, I'll probably stay with him. Irvin. 
So get my room ready, Irvin. Oh, snap, my battery about to die. How's my battery dead? So this is um some edge control. Since my battery's about to die and I won't have time to go home and get another battery, but I, oh, I could do it on my phone. I will see how this gray shine rinse out silk silky smooth no flaking non-sticky feel these nails need jesus that's not on my that's not in my budget either but honey sometimes i act now and think and apologize later that's when you start robbing peter to pay paul look i don't know my edges out y'all oh oh am i slick oh, oh ow ow I got baby hair, y'all. That's the no hair baby hair. That's what it is, the no hair baby hair. Ow. Ooh, she's slick. Look, ooh, let me do this right here. She's slick, y'all. I'ma let y'all know how this is. Let me see, I can't see in that camera. Ooh, ooh she's slick down, y'all. Look at her. I'm a, I gotta do these braids. Look at her, she's slick, y'all. Ooh, I got baby hair. Ooh, I like her. I got baby hair. <laughs> they need to leave this baby here in 2019. Ow. Okay, look, now I'm cute. I'm cute, y'all. In my head, I'm cute. Y'all gotta say I'm cute. But it's all about what you think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Ow. 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 Okay. I'm going to do some of these braids over this weekend. I said that last weekend and that didn't happen. Oh, I'm feeling secure. It feels tight too. This is good. Thank you. Hit me up in the comments. I would have to go through so many comments. Thank you. Think this is good so far.